Hello guys and welcome to episode 72 of my Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires campaign playing as the Sisters of Twilight leading the Heralds of Ariel and the Wood Elves to world domination. Today we're going to be taking off the Ordite first of all and going straight into Venom Glade. Previously we managed to utterly destroy Koron. Um, the Bretonian faction almost wiped out entirely. They have one sediment left on the Citadel of Lead on Albion, which we're going to take soon enough. But for now, we're just going through our turn is possible. and taking settlements as we go. So we're going to wipe out a kid in here, declare war on them. Not sure if this will like bug anything out. I hope not. But it will remove their faction, I believe. I mean, it's not actually a faction because it's part of an event, I think, but. Yeah, we're going to take them out. That is going to make me short of movement range for Zavastra, but there's no real rush in taking Zavastra. Right, let's wipe out the Eagle Gate. Brilliant. Uh, we will just seed that. Do we actually get any people in there? No, we don't. Okay. Then we'll go to the Griffin Gate. Othiodai can take the Tower of Lycian. Uh, we have Ayarak, who can take the White Tower of Hoeth. <laughs> so many simple battles, it's just painting the map right now. You have Altharian. He is chilling in Torkarali. In father's name. No. That is looking like a pretty simple battle. Is it an open field battle? Because it doesn't look like they have... Oh no, they definitely have walls. Hmm. Alright, let's do it. Let's wipe out Altharian's army. Okie dokie. Let's just pre-deploy and go bash down a gate with Durthu. I was hoping before like we could bash down a wall, but yeah, I don't think it's compatible with my save. Uh, let's see, what could we do with the Dryads? Maybe we could just climb like either side of the gate there. And we'll keep all of these on one side as well. Alright, let's do it. We'll move forwards a range units, get them in range. Altharian is on his griffin, looking very, very snazzy. These Glade Riders, they're just causing a distraction right now. They did abandon the walls, so we are able to just move up with the range forces. We're going to put them on guard so that I can give them targets beyond the walls without them moving. Just need to get in range. The gate's bashed in. Let's go for the Silver and Guard. Then we'll try and hold the line. So uh, the burning trees and Durthu. He's coming. He is coming.
Well, these are all dying. Nice. That doesn't matter. They are so easily replaced. And it stops them from focusing down our range forces on this side, so not too much to worry about. One thing I can do get the sort of death down. We'll just try and get it on top of a lot of these range forces. Do two flock of dooms on top of that as well. Why not? So much damage over time. Try and keep them topped off a little bit. The shielded thorns on them. Not a bad place for a, a penumbral pendulum, to be honest. See if we can get inside. Oh, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to. Uh, what we'll do then is we'll That's climb. Right, the moment, Eltharion having a pretty bad time. Through being tickled. Actually, you know what? We'll do it here. That will catch all of these. Go ahead and drop another Rock of Doom up there. Try and kill off the remainder of those range forces. You can knock on the barricade. Bimmon unit trying to get close, but not even. Look, <laughs> they use up all their ammo, and Dothu's still like pretty much full health. It's actually kind of funny. <laughs> Altharian wiped out there. What we like to see. And they still own another settlement, but lost this battle. Did lose some calf, but. I mentioned before they are easily replaced. 
I'll just pop them back in there. Maybe Glade Riders with Hagbane tips is a good shout. Can we actually get some poison effect as well? Over to a Lindling. Arden's taking the tree. We'll send him to Guyan Vale, I think. And from here, he can smash into Tor Sarior or Saroya. <laughs> I never know how to pronounce this, Solomon. Either way, we're going to wipe that out. Nice and easy. Occupy that. Thank you very much. And the next people to go through the woods there can teleport over to Cathay. Get the woods sorted there. Uh, what I might do is pop it now. It's going to take a couple turns anyway before enemies start popping out. And yeah, we'll let a Lendling go and defend that. Tevril can go somewhere else. Assuming I have enough turns left of the cooldown. I weave the living forest. Make aerial That's the last of the Norsean settlements back under our control. Now we'll jump over towards the Kislev settlements, wipe them out. And take them off the empire. These are dark times. Hmm. Do I take Kappelberg with Draka? I think I do, right? Otherwise, I've got to go back on myself. You can always just wild root this over to the other side of the river. Findle having to go back. Good elf spell weaver. Right, Molana, we were going to get onto the water. I glide as head over to the Citadel of Lead. Atra can continue the conquest in this direction. We're going to head to Kragoth Deep. If I go into Ambush. We should be able to catch them out here. It's only 70%. We'll make that a little bit more. The other thing I do want to do is give her some armor, because... We also want to make sure she's got the right... ancillaries. Oh, she does have Elder Scout and Royal Standard Bearer already, that's fine. Uh, but we can maybe add better ancillaries. I don't think what would actually be better for her. What companion in range for isn't that important because I don't think she has uh, like ranged attacks, right? I think that the range is only for the Lord itself. Anyway, we surely have uh, some decent abilities. I mean, Potion of Healing Scroll of Stone is fine. I mean, to be honest, we probably equipped her as well as we could have with what we had. Rixter's Helm's good though. There isn't really a better weapon I can use other than like Tormentor Sword. But yeah, it's fine. Not a big deal. Won't waste too much time doing that. Ara, up the coast we go. No other factions over here. We might go check over here as well. But he's just having a nice jolly sail. Now we have a suiciding army of Avalon. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure. Thanks, I guess. And then we'll take Tor Anlek. Oh, 
If they were to attack me at the same time, then we might have had problems, but they didn't, so we're all good. Like our money issues are slowly sorting themselves out. We are in range to hit Clark Cabin, so we'll go and do that. At your service. That settlement will be taken soon. Who's next? Your uh, go Weissman, we'll go Middenstag, Middenheim. Can I offer assistance? Just trying to do this the most efficient way possible. No. Uh, we do need to chase Boris. There's something we need to do. Oh, here we go. Oh, and assigned skill points. Yay, we can actually go through the right ones. <laughs> Anything is possible. Again, thank you very much to the suggestions in the comments. I always do appreciate them a lot, guys. Any tips and tricks and stuff that I've forgotten along the way. The sisters of Twilight. Is actually Max. Uh, oh, maybe I wanted to go Perenniality Quartermaster. Yeah, we'll do that first. It's just like trying to remember <laughs> what to click. <laughs> Some of these have so many points. Uh, what else do we have in this army? So it's all just forest dragons, but we do want to get the upgrades. Times. So what would be the second likely thing we put in here? Probably just streaking, right? We'll go rally, then we can get forest raw for the upgrade for the dragons. Nice eight points here for Val now. Definitely been ignoring him. Lord of the Glade. I haven't actually played a battle out with Draker for a little while. I do you like Draker's army? Well, at least we're finally getting this done. <laughs> I have been ignoring this for so long. Like, I, I, like after all, it does help with like auto resolve and stuff. Well, Iadak actually needs to get some more troops, so we'll do this, and we'll chuck in another eagle for now. Reshaper of forest. Maybe two eagles. Okay, building upgrades finally. Damage buildings. And that's everything. Let's move on. I do you realize we've got uh, three out of three at the top here? I don't think we can really do much with that. I'll have to double check if we can get more than one buff at the same time. But it doesn't really make a difference at this point in the campaign. Is he going to take build off? No. Getting some Sanesh corruption. <laughs> All right, time for sisters to take the fort. The this is actually a battle we'll probably have to play out. No, maybe not. 
harmony shall reign. They shall Usually the fort battles me. you have to play out because well, I mean the sisters are just terrible Awaiting with walled bloodshed. settlements. Okay. I actually have a lot of stuff to do here. Oh, Theodai is going to hit Hotex Column. This is absurd. Hotex Even Column could not. doesn't have walls. I cannot rewrite so if reality. I can right-click this and order resolve, that would be the best outcome. Because that will wipe them all out in one swift blow. That looks like we can. I'm just checking if there's like anything interesting here. Or if it's just chaff. It looks like mostly just spearmen. Yes. There we go. <laughs> All sorted. <laughs> not be here. No problem. Proud son and Dayarak can just move towards the circle Forest of destruction. It's kind of ironic that we're gonna end well, one of our final settlements to take is the circle of destruction. <laughs> Because <laughs> we have gone full circle on this map, that's for sure. Slowly closing in on the enemy. Another gate taken. Thank you very much. The other thing I'm going to have to do is uh, be careful not to rem not to forget. Sorry, uh, to take Lothern. Uh Let's grab my Glade Lord so that she can go and do that for us. Meanwhile, he can go and take Port Alia. Very good. There was another one over here that I want to take, but I'm a bit worried about raising an army because there's two little armies here. We can probably get away with doing it here, though. Let's just get Dan in there. She can run over and take that next turn. Can I offer assistance? All right, can he TP? He can. Okay, over you go, Ellen Delink, to the jungles of Chi An to help defend that on the baddies. Glade Lord. Although all of the other ones we've done have bugged out, <laughs> so they might not even attack us. It's interesting, most of the armies here are further down, so I'm actually going to go back down on myself. Something I like to do. I don't like to go back on myself, but we do have this army of Ayalak, uh, which isn't going to go through the Empire. We've got enough armies coming through here. So I'm actually going to send Ayalak to Alicia to head in that direction. Well, we can go take Misnar first, actually. Uh, so we'll go zoom over here. Uh, Elendling. Do I want to do one of these? Oh, they're actually quite far away, and those are the three that we've got to look out for. I'm curious what enemies will pop up for At that, actually. Service. I guess maybe Cathay forces? None shall live. This is going to go Salzamund anyway. Take that. Thank you very much. That's going to get confusing. <laughs> Over we go. Next turn we can take Fort Stragov. Riker. Actually almost in range to take Wolfenberg. Interesting. Findol is actually going to be in range to take Castle von Rauch. And, and Emrakar Franz is currently chilling there. So maybe Findol will be the one to deal with him. Yeah, meanwhile... Arden, oh, where do you want to go? We've almost taken the entirety of Ulthuan. There isn't much left. I guess we wipe out Avalon. Is this the last settlement? No, of course it's not. Shrine of Cain, Shrine of Konos. They've got loads. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that. Well, for new take that, thank you very much. Sivla, 
That's almost every settlement on the inner side of Ulthor 1 taken. The elves are in tatters. Gotta be careful of Capitano Sassiso. Don't wanna let them declare war on me. And Catra. Well, let's say goodbye to Carcassonne. We fight for the forest. They were hiding out here. They've been found. Again, do they have another settlement somewhere? Oh, it might just be because of these. Yeah, they're they've got attrition now. Yeah, so they will probably attack one of my settlements. I weave the living forest. Actually, I'm just gonna check the Forge of Death while we're here. Yeah, I can't actually select any of these others, so we can't use the Forge of Death. I've got everything upgraded. I can reforge, I suppose. That's one thing we can do, which is like temporarily upgrades them. I guess twenty five percent ward save if we do that one. So beautiful. Damn. So deadly. That's Tragic. a big upgrade. To think how misused it shall be. Dark times. <laughs> Doing it again. <laughs> Clicking on the wrong dude. <laughs> Right, Teverell definitely can't travel this turn. That's absolutely fine. Alright. He's gonna zoom on around. Let them take the fastest route. Okay. Arden. Uh, for now, we're not in range to hit the Shrine of Cain. Actually, it might be just. Beneath an if we are, we should probably take that. Oh, we are. Okay, perfect. And it looks like we can just sort of resolve it. Nice. I'll take it. Thank you very much. Pop the uh, shrine of Widowmaker in there. Grant Sona access to the Sword of Cain, which of course we have. Uh, we've got income from post battle loot, faction wide plus. 15% is actually really nice. Getting that early on in the campaign is really nice. But we just made a load of sacrifices. <laughs> Poor Kane, so that's good. Alright, let's go to mid and stag. Lord of Athelorin. I can't remember like how much of this land we, we owned before the Empire came through. It's when the Empire declared war on us. It was absolutely crazy. Can he get away? He cannot. Goodbye, Boris. Nice try. <laughs> it's like in the latest trailer. Just falls over and dies. <laughs> okay. Yeah, <laughs> Creative Assembly kind of did. Uh, Boris told bring a dirty in the uh, latest DLC trailer. If you haven't watched it yet, I would recommend watching it. It's pretty cool. I mean, they're always really awesome. Getting in the home amongst bars is really nice. Of Athel I don't know why I'm leveling her up, but whatever. These are dark times. Same with this guy. Or oh, gal. <laughs> He's a woman. Well, I'll level up Eagle Gate. Why not? That's it. Moving on. We're back up to minus 60,000 a turn at the moment. It can't be long until we just wipe out multiple factions in one go. Like, surely. They're just going like, bam, 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 bam. Like, Caron dead. Carcassonne dead. Uh, well, this is going to be Carcassonne dead. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not. Aerials, emissaries. Uh, yeah, then we got uh, Nagarith dead. Avalon's going to die. Uh... Eotain's nearly dead. Like, it's crazy. Tyrion's actually coming over here to mess with the Kirin, which is annoying. 
So we'll go on Kalo then. How can and I she you? can leave. Oh, Theodai can actually just come back, back down here. I can run away. Orion can take the unicorn gate. So he'll have better odds. And then Arden can take White Fire Tour. So what do I want to do with the sisters? We should probably take Manningberg. To be honest, I should probably wipe out these guys End while we're here. Threat. Open them up. A Pyrrhic victory. I mean, if we lightning strike, we can we fight for do the it much forest. easier. Harmony a bit cheesy, but imposed. makes things so. much better for us. Well, that could be another Pyrrhic victory. Battle. Whatever. Balthazar Gelt was necessity. in charge of the garrison. That's why. All right, but the next tribe destroyed, so that's one faction. <laughs> oh, I should have gone to the Twisted Glade. Ah, that's fine, we can actually go down to the Twisted Glade afterwards, which I think will technically here. be more efficient because we're going to want to head towards Ulth one afterwards. I say that, and How most of I these places are going to be taken. Can Katra reach the Circle of Destruction? No, but. I was going to say Ira could reach the monoliths. In March starts he could, but not otherwise, so we'll just resolve that one. Alright. We are zooming. We are zooming. Are we going to get to the end of the campaign today? I don't think so, because we've still got to deal with... Oh, it's siege forces. Oof. Oh, that's nasty. Siege isn't terrible for us to deal with, but if you look at the units that they have... That's Anything gonna be possible. really rough. Wow. Highborn. Okay, we might have to send another army over there. To help deal with that. Let's say light. Thank you very much. It's funny how they leave all of these completely undefended, isn't it? And of course they have the garrison, but there's plenty of armies nearby that could have gone there. Blade Lord. So it seems like Emperor Carl Franz wants to fight Draka. Findle's only in range to hit Castle von Rauken, so we'll do that. At your service. And that's going to give us a fun battle with Draka. Yeah. Let's take on Emperor Carl Franz. Once again. This time in defense of Wolfenberg. Let's go. The layout of some of these elements is really cool. Like this one is pretty awesome. The way that it sort of wraps around, you go over these bridges and it goes all the way over here to the capture point here. It's just a shame that the AI doesn't really like use this area at all. Anyway, uh, let's just go through here. I think the closer things are, the better. You know, we got some nice sight blockers here for all of their range forces, so that's good. Uh, these can all just pile over the walls. These can go straight into the gates. Actually, almost everything can start closer up, so we'll do that. All right, let's go. I might actually just push through the gates with everything rather than go over the walls. Or what we could do is get the branch wraiths Durthu to climb. Could be interesting. Following the trail. So I hunt. Yes. Definitely get some malevolent dryads to turn up on top of the mortars, get them out of the play. And uh those mortars at the back there have got to go at some point as well. Here go the branch wraiths. Oh, 
Alright, let's uh, engage these great swords. Really nice potential for a bit of shades there whilst we were they were fighting, but unfortunately didn't do it in time. Okay, on the right is broken. Get them inside. Go go go. On the left it's open. Again, let's get them inside. Oh, would you look at that? And brick our friends. Coming in for the fight with all of my branch breaths, including Riker herself. There's much damage now to those uh, mortars. We'll pop a pit of shades here. I can do more than one pit of shades at the same time. It's beautiful. Now we are chipping him. I don't think the lamentation will do anything, but we'll try and use it. Almost never do. I'll take away some armor. Take away his melee attack and melee defense. Get on top of them. Striker's attack animations are really awesome with the branches that pop out. Chunky <laughs> kid smashed away there. Come on, take him out. There he goes. Our friends down. All hope is lost for them. I'm gonna bash down the old barricade there. Mortar's still firing. But this time, could be able to work not good. That unit really got ahead of itself. Oh, that was the one that I summoned. That's why. Keeps getting interrupted. I think we're being pulled in by that ability.
This army is brutal. Massively stringing them out right now. It allows to do so much damage so quickly. There we have it. Carl Franz defeated again. He tries his best, but he just can't succeed. Very nice battle. And cool settlement. I like that. Well, that's going to give us some gold. And unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So I called that maybe we'd end the campaign today, but it looks unlikely. Maybe next time. It really depends how many more order resolves there are and how many actual battles we have to play. Because the battles are what takes the time, right? So if there's no more battles to play, the next episode could be very short. But if there's probably going to be like at least one more at the jungles of Qi'an um, and then maybe uh, some other ones that we got to deal with but we'll see we'll see how it goes we're very 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 close now <laughs> to completion that's it hopefully you guys enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one goodbye